Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer, and this video tutorial will help you get started with the iMovie trailer. You'll begin by opening the iMovie app, and from here we're going to tap on the plus sign, and we're going to select trailer on the right hand side. This is a, the best option for chapter books that your students may have read. So the first thing you'll see is that there are 14 different trailer themes to choose from. Your students can go through each trailer, they can look at the font styles and colors and listen to the music and really think critically about which trailer corresponds best with the book that they have read. Each trailer has the specific amount of time in terms of length. So this one, for example, is a minute and 24 seconds. The swashbuckler theme is a minute and three seconds, so on and so forth. So some are a little bit longer than others, but once your students have made their selection, um, and prior to that, to play the trailer, they'll tap on it and they're gonna press, press on the play button. So I would encourage you to make sure that your students view the trailer in its entirety, uh, making note that rather than video, they're going to have predominantly photos, still photos in their trailer, but most of these, all of these really have video clips, but we're gonna modify it and we're gonna have still images. Um, some of your students might wanna add video um, and that would be up to them. So you may have some creative kiddos that wanna do that. Um, once they've made their selection, they're going to tap on the create button in the upper right hand corner. They're going to be brought to this outline page and this is where they can give their movie a name they can identify their cast members, which could be their characters, main characters in their book. They also can name their studio and change the logo style. They can give credits. Uh, this is an independent project, so um, they could add their name in terms of who's the director, the editor, the writer, so on and so forth. So for students to change what is here on the outline, they would just tap on the movie name. They can tap clear and they can type in the name of their book. I'm gonna use the Lemonade Wars in this example. So that's how that would appear. It gives you a nice little preview on the left-hand side. And again, they can go in and start typing in the names of the characters. So this could be Jesse, so on and so forth. Once they have done this, and this is something that they could actually complete at the end. Um, before I move on, I do wanna show you that the students can actually change their logo style as well. So this is the galaxy style, but they can preview the tree, street lamp, dandelion, or colored bars. And so this would just be shown at the very beginning of the trailer. So they can make that selection as well, corresponding to the type of book that they have read. The next thing they're going to do is tap on storyboard and every single trailer theme that they pick has a storyboard and they vary based on the option that they have chosen but all of the little gray frames that you see here these need to be filled with pieces of media so it would be photos um, that describe the book that go through maybe the beginning middle and end leaving a cliffhanger of course at the end of the trailer so that they don't spoil the ending and they're really persuading um, their peers to read the book that they have read. So what they'll do is they'll start inserting media. I'm gonna show you how they would do that in a follow-up tutorial. The blue bars that you see, they can tap on those blue bars and they can make changes. So this is where they would start to add their script or their dialogue, wherever there's a box, that's where text can be placed, so on and so forth. So again, some trailers, uh, depending on the style that they choose, have more text options than others. So you can guide your students through that process. And I have also provided you with printables of all of the different trailers as a planning sheet. So uh, your students can either write on them if you see them in person, or they can complete those planning sheets digitally. They can mark them up, annotate them, really help them um, guide and plan their thought process. In terms of gathering media, having that printable will also help them determine how many pictures they need on their device to actually make this movie. So that was a quick overview of the storyboard, which is where their media will go. 
and you'll notice each clip also has a time frame and that cannot be adjusted. So this very first clip is 1.7 seconds and that is how long that clip is. Then one next to it is 1.8 seconds, so on and so forth. So um, those cannot be edited. Um, I'd encourage you to make sure your students have exactly how many photos they need for whichever trailer they select. And in the next video, we'll look at how to start inserting media.